Hi, in this lecture we are going to learn Nginx as layer 4 versus layer 7 proxying. Yes, you heard it right. Nginx works in layer 4 and layer 7 as well. When we are talking about layer 4, layer 7, it, it's the OSI model layer that we are talking about. So as a backend engineer or DevOps engineer, it is really important for you to understand layer 4 and layer 7. Few things happens in layer 4 and rest of the things happens in layer 7. So the visibility in both the layers is different. Layer 4 is about TCP IP and layer 7 is about application layer. This is where your actual application will be. In layer 4, we see all about TCP IP stack but nothing about the application. For example, in layer 4 that is TCP IP layer, we have access to source IP and source port which means from where the traffic or the packet is coming. And the second thing we know is the destination IP and destination port where the packet is destined to. So using this information, Nginx can do certain things. For example, it can allow or block the packet based on specific destination. So it can say like, hey, the traffic is going to XYZ destination and it is not allowed to go to XYZ destination. Or Nginx can also do redirects here. So if the packet is going at a particular port, then Nginx can say, if you want to go to this port, then you need to go to some other port because this is redirected to other port. And the third thing it can do is simple packet inspection. That is about the SYN packet it receives for the TCP IP handshake or the TLS hello packet it receives for TLS handshake. In layer 7, we see application, we know about the HTTP or gRPC, we know what the request is about, whether it is a GET request or POST request or a WebSocket connection, etc. At this layer, we have more knowledge. For example, we know what the client is trying to go for, not just based on IP, but which URL or resource client is trying to look for. At layer 7, decryption is also required. Now let's see what layer 4 and layer 7 proxy do in Nginx. Nginx can operate in layer 7 with HTTP or at layer 4 that is TCP. Layer 4 proxy is useful when Nginx doesn't understand the protocol. For example, if request is for a MySQL database connection, so it just takes whatever the request is and forward it to the corresponding database. At layer 7, Proxying is useful when Nginx want to share backend connection and cache some result. At this layer, Nginx understand the request and it knows how to talk to backend or add some headers or redirect the request. So basically, using stream context, it becomes a layer for proxy. That means you are just passing connections and data as it is without doing any changes, modification or reading or caching. And when you are using HTTP context, it becomes a layer 7 proxy. So this way, Nginx can work at layer 4 and layer 7.